kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 4 of my video series on QR code scanner with SQLite database in Android Studio. Okay guys so in this video we are going to create the recycler view adapter and now let's get started. So now here we will create another package and we will name the package as adapter okay and now you need to click ok and we can create the new java class and we can name the adapter as my adapter let's say okay and we can first of all extend it with recycler view dot adapter and here we can say my adapter dot my adapter view holder okay and first of all so now let's create the public class my adapter view holder and we can extend it with recycler view dot view holder okay and here first of all we can generate the constructor so we can okay so here we have this constructor mm, okay so here then we can here okay so it is saying that we need to implement all these three methods on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so here you are able to see this these three method so here we can also uh, have our constructor so we can say public my adapter and inside this we can have several items so here first of all we can have an array list of type list item and we can pass list items array list then we can have the context and in global variables we can also have the list of type list item and we can name it okay so here we need a space and here we can say list items array list and here we can say this dot list item array list equal to list array list and also this dot con sorry we also need the context so we can say this dot context equal to context all right then in here inside our own create view holder class we can say view v equal to layout inflator dot from and we can say parent dot get context then we can say dot inflate and here we can say r dot layout dot list item layout we will create it then we can pass the parent and final will be false and here we can simply return new my adapter view holder and here we can pass v okay and we just remove this and now we need to create this layout item so go to your resource layout and we can click on new layout resource file and let's name it this click ok so here we will uh, create this layout class in our next part of the video series all right okay so here it is not accepting list item layout so i will again clean the project and now it will be recognized
okay now uh, in your get item count method so we can pass list item array list dot size okay and in here inside our my adapter view holder class okay so let's create the list item this class xml so first of all we will have okay so here is it is linear layout with match parent and we need to set it to app content then we can okay so here we can use the card view so we can set the card view width to match parent then we can set the height to 100 dp and let's also set the id to card view all right so inside this card view we can have a linear layout and it will be width of match parent and height will be web content then we can set the orientation to vertical and let's set the id to ll1 then inside this linear layout we will be using the two text views so first text view and it will be match parent web content then we can set the padding to adp then we can set the id to text view code and we can set the text code and text size it will be 18 hp all right then another uh, we need the text view with match parent web content then we can have margin left to 10 dp then we can say text to type and we can set the id to text view type and finally we need okay so we don't need the button for shade we will implement it later if we want okay so here we have this design here it has the code and the type okay so here we can create or bind the text view so we can say text view code and text view type and here we can initialize it so we can say text view code equal to text view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view code and let's set the id to this okay so it is again not uh, recognizing so i will do that later then we can say text view type equal to text view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view type all right here we also have the card view so we can use this card view as so we can easily integrate it like card view item view by id dot find view by id r dot id dot card view okay so here we again need to clean the project i don't know why i have to clean the project again and again but in your case it will not be a problem okay so it has uh, recognized all these three items okay so now what we can do here i think the adapter okay so we need to write the code for the on inside the on bind view holder so here we can have uh, object of list 
item and we can say list item equal to list item array list dot get position and we can now set the values so we can say holder dot text view type dot set text and we can say list item dot get type similarly we can say holder dot text view code dot set text we can pass this list item dot get code and uh, finally we need to if the uh, text view is a link so we can use the linkify so we can say linkify dot add links and here we can pass our text view so we can say text view code and we can say linkify dot all all right i guess now that is uh, our adapter is complete now we just need to share okay so we can simply uh, call or create the my adapter uh, object and here we can simply call it my adapter equal to new my adapter and here we can pass array list and this context and finally we can say recycler view dot set adapter and we can pass my adapter here all right now we need okay so it will first of all uh, if we run the app yeah, so it will say no data found all right so we can what we can do here okay so now we need to implement the on swipe left or right to remove this data okay so now the user will swipe the recycler view so for that we can do new item touch new item touch helper and we can have this callback so here inside here we have the on swiped method and we have on move and get movement flag okay so here we can inside our on swiped method we need to write final int position equal to and we can get the position get adapter position then we can say list item equal to array list dot get position so now we have uh, received the position and also the list view on which the user has pressed or swiped so here we need to remove the data so how can we remove the data so for that we need to go to our db helper and here we can create the class okay so here, sorry so we will be creating the method delete row so we can say public void delete row and here we can pass value and here we can simply say sqlite database db equal to this dot get write table database and we can pass db dot execute sql and we can write the query for deleting the data so we can say delete from and we can pass the 
table name and here we can say where column 1 equal to value all right so now we will just pass the id and it will delete the entire row from the database so inside this remove now we can easily remove mm, the database from the database so how can we remove it so we can say helper dot delete row and here we can say list item dot get id so we can remove it and finally we can also say array list dot remove so we need to remove also from the array list and we can now say my adapter dot notify item removed and we can pass the position here and also we can say my adapter dot notify item range changed and here we can pass the position and the size of the array list so we can say array list dot size all right and after that here we can say dot attach to recycler view and we can pass our recyc recycler view here okay so now we have easily done uh, the code to remove from the database so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye